Hello friends, once again welcome back to the automotive basic session. I am Som Shekhar and I am back with the next type of CAN frame that is error frame. Now we will see the structure of error frame since in previous video we have understood that the purpose of each frames in a CAN protocol. So let's begin with the error frame. I hope now you all know an error frame is generated by a node that detects an error in CAN network. The error frame consists of different fields, an error flag field, superposition of error flags followed by an error delimiter. The same you can see in this picture the error flag field and the superposition of error flags and the de error delimiter. The error delimiter consists of 8 recessive bits you can see here. This allows the bus nodes to restart the bus communications appropriately after an error. Here in error frame the important point to be remember there are two forms of error flag fields this field I am talking about. The form of error flag field depends on the error status of the node that detects an error. You may ask what do you mean by error states. Friends in CAN network the nodes will be in error active and error passive state based on their transmit and receive error counters formerly formerly called uh, known as TEC and REC counters. Suppose if the error active node detects an error in a CAN network then that node interrupts transmission of the current message by generating a active error flag. And if a error passive node detects the error in a CAN network then that node transmits the passive error flag to interrupt the current message transmission. Friends, the another important point to notice here, you can see in this diagram, the bit sequence actually violates the bit stuffing rule. As you can see, what bit, bit stuffing rule says for us, after 5 consecutive bits of equal polarity bits, opposite polarity bits must be introduced into the transmitting bit stream. For more information about bit stuffing, please watch my bit stuffing video. So what happens here? Now I am going to tell you when these 0 to 6 bits will be generated. So as I said, error frame violates the bit stuffing rule. Due to this, all stations recognize the resulting bit stuffing errors. As you all know, we already discussed about this in previous videos and in turn generate error frame themselves. The error flag field therefore consists of 6 bits plus 0 to 6 bits superposition of error flags. So how this field is generated? Simple the other the nodes the other nodes which are connected to CAN network thought that uh, stuffing error has occurred so they started sending their error frames over the CAN bus. In such situation this field will be come into picture. So that is superposition of error flag. Now let's see what are the differences between active error and passive error flags. Below are the differences I am showing you in these diagrams. You can clearly see the diagram. The structure of error frame which is sent by the active node looks like, looks like this. You can see here in previous slide I have explained about error flag and when this will be introduced in the CAN network when the active node finds uh, finds the error in the transmitted message. So you can see the structure of the frame 6 dominant bits again 0 to 6 dominant bit that is superposition of error flags coming to the passive error frame format you can see if the passive node detects the error in a CAN network the passive error frame structure looks like this. That means it there are no dominant bits in this frame structure you can see 6 recessive bits that is passive error flag and 0 to 6 recessive bits superposition of error flags. Friends, this is just a short notes about active error flag and passive error flag. Just go through this. 
For queries, please leave comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, Secrets of Automotive Industry, and hit thumbs up. Thank you all.